And now, here's your Phoenix, Arizona real estate market update for March 2022. Hi guys, I'm Jason with Phoenix Home Collective and each month I create a video update to give you some insight on what's really going on in the Phoenix real estate market. This feels like the fastest first quarter ever. I swear we were just making our New Year's resolutions like two weeks ago. Here's the good news, you still have time. Not if you wanna buy a house, you should have done that yesterday. Kidding, but not kidding. And now for a breakdown. I'm gonna highlight medians more than averages because averages are like catfish dating profiles that don't give you the real picture. And here's why. If four homes sell for $470,000 and one sells for $2 million, the average of those five homes is $776,000, even though 80% of the homes I just mentioned sold for $470,000 or less. Don't be catfished. The median price of these five homes is $470,000, which feels a lot more accurate. On March 17th, St. Paddy's Day 2022, the median monthly sales price for a single family home in Phoenix was in fact $470,000. 470,000 leaping leprechauns. That's a one year increase of $100,000 from March 17th the year before, and a two year increase of 160,000 from March 2020. For those keeping track of hangovers and investments, that's a return rate of 35% in two years. So here's what you need to know about the real estate market in Phoenix today. One, there is little to no slowing of price increases in Phoenix, even with rising interest rates. The median monthly sales price is up 2% from last month. Earlier in the year, I predicted a year-end appreciation of 10 to 15% in Phoenix. At the pace we're on, we may hit that by summer. Two, demand for homes continues to far exceed supply, and buying a home in Phoenix today is like entering the All Valley Karate Tournament. Expect your competition to strike hard, strike fast, and show no mercy. As a seller, it pays to know what upgrades give you the bigger bang for your buck. For example, paint the fence or sand the floor. And that's why it's so important to hire an amazing guide who can help you get to where you really wanna be. Three, rental listings in the Valley have increased by 39% year over year as of mid-March. More choices for renters will create more competition for landlords, which may slow down the rapidly increasing rental prices. And if landlord profits start to flatline, we may see a drop off in the number of homes purchased by investors for rent. What this would mean for you as a Phoenix home buyer is less competition and some much needed relief. This is something to keep tabs on as we enter the second quarter of 2022. Four, real estate remains one of the best hedges against inflation. But why is it the best hedge? Because real estate has a unique combination of increasing income, appreciating value, and depreciating debt that helps it keep up with rising costs. Historically, over a long period, housing prices have kept up with the rate of inflation, even outstripping it by two or 3%. Number five, Johnny Five is alive. Just like the robot in short circuit, you'll have an advantage if you soak up as much input as you can to be competitive in today's real estate market. Buyers who submit offers without asking the right questions and sellers who think their homes will sell for top dollar with cell phone pictures are misinformed and will not be very happy with the results. So again, it's important to connect with the best guide and not settle for someone hanging out the passenger side of their best friend's ride trying to holla at you. I'll end by answering a question that is asked over and over again. How do I time the market? The answer is, you can't. Trying to time the market is like trying to recite the lyrics of Informer by Snow. Many have tried, few will succeed. The best time to make a move is when the future pain of staying where you are exceeds the pleasure of moving. And if you don't wanna suffer severe FOMO, it's best to determine when that will be for you. Is it once you realize your home is too small or way too big, lacking what you really want and need? Or is it the realization that soon you'll be priced out of the neighborhood you really wanna be in? Whatever your home goals are, I encourage you to meet with a professional guide, stick to a plan, and make it happen. Now I need you to do three things. Like, follow, and hit that bell icon to be notified of new videos. Take care of each other.